Welcome to our lecture online. So how is Euler's number calculated? There are various methods in which we can do so and here we're going to show you one method. On the next video I think I'll show you a second method as well. So the definition of E, the natural number or Euler's number, is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over n, the whole thing, raised to the n power. So let's try some numbers. Let's try what happens when n equals 1. Well, when n equals 1, we replace every n by 1, so we get 1 plus 1 over 1 to the first power, which is essentially 2 to the first power, or 2. So you can see that the number is 2.718 and so forth, so we're not really that close when n equals 1. But what if n equals 2? Well, when we replace n equals 2, this becomes a 2, that becomes a 2. Now we get 1.5 to the second power, which is 2.25. You can see we're a little bit closer. What if n equals 3? Now we get 1 plus 1 over 3, the whole thing to the third power, or 1.3333 so far for infinitely to the third power, which is 2.370 to three decimal places. And again, you can see as n becomes bigger, we get closer and closer to the true value of Euler's number. When n equals 10, we get 2.594. When n equals 100, now we get 2.7048. Now you begin to see that we're getting relatively close to the true value. To one decimal place, it's already correct. When n becomes 1,000, now we're getting really close. Now we get 2.7169 to four decimal places. So now you can see that the first two decimal places are correct if we use n equals 1,000. When we use n equals a million, now you can see 1 plus 1 over a million, the whole thing raised to the million power, which is 1.000001 raised to the million power, gives us 2.71828 Notice Euler's number is not correct to the first five decimal places when you let n equals a million. And that's what we mean by the limit as n goes to infinity. The bigger we make n, the closer we're going to get to the actual number. Of course, we need to make it really big, all the way to almost infinity to get really, really, really close. When we get to infinity, then the number is exactly Euler's number. Of course, we can never get to infinity, so we can never get to the exact number of Euler's numbers, but we can get it correctly to a fair number of decimal places, and that's why we have these kind of numbers here. We can actually calculate it using this method right here, what Euler's number is. And this is how it's done. You're asleep? <laughs> All right. So this was so.